I am the owner of Danielle with Dessert, an online baking company. Um, I'm very excited. I'm starting this company uh, very soon. And um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself before we begin. I originally come from New York. I am residing in the south of Florida permanently now. My husband and I were snowbirds, and now we're here permanently. And we just love living in paradise. Uh, over the years, um, I had decided, um, I was a teacher for many years in my profession. I taught in New York City public schools, private schools. I hold uh, a Bachelor of Arts degree and a Master of Science degree in education, majoring in reading. And I, I enjoyed my profession many, for many years. Uh, until I had my daughter, I stayed at home, stopped working, and raised our daughter um, the best way. She is now 26 years old, and my husband and I adore her. She's on her own, living in New York City. And, you know, it comes a time, once you move down here, it comes a time when you have to think about yourself. I mean, this is a little late in my life, but I always had a dream after my first dream was fulfilled, being a teacher, a professional, dealing with many students, many parents, teachers, uh, principals, assistant principals, and did that, that done, that's a part of my life that was in the past. Now I'd like to move on. Uh, over the years, I always had a passion as a child for baking. And I'll be honest with you, I would get people tell me, Denise, open up your bakery, do this. But my family came first, and my daughter's education came first, and my priority was there. My husband had medical issues, and I was his medical secretary, I was his caretaker, and I didn't have time for myself. So now that I'm here, life is very different. Our daughter is now 26, and I have to start thinking of my passion, of what I want to do with my life at this point. Um, my mother, I have to include my mother in this quickly. My mother was an excellent baker, excellent cook, and I was always around her as a child. And she had a dream in her life. She had gotten a four-year scholarship to Juilliard when she, in the 40s, when she was in high school. And her dream was to be a conductor. She played the trumpet, and she never did. My grandparents had a very successful business and she had to be part of it, and she met my father, and uh, she just never pursued her dream. And she always regretted doing that. She always wanted to be a conductor, and she never did. And until she passed uh, 14 years ago, she, she regretted it, and I don't want to do the same thing. So I had this passion for baking, and I did it for many years as a teenager. And one day I decided to just stop and think and start this business. I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing, didn't know where to start to begin. So I went online and started looking for uh, uh, my, uh, what do I do? Get a license. So I got my license. Set up a name. Set up a name for my business. And here I am. I have vanilla desserts, but that's all I had. Now, I decided to go online. I was very discouraged at first. It was so much work. I said, where do I begin? So I said, let me start online. My daughter, who's in her 20s, you know, this computer, it's the, it's the telephone, it's the phone and the cell phone. And I just said, Alana, I can't do it. And she said to me, Mom, get online and sell your products online. They're excellent products. You have to let the public see eat what you what you make. So I decided to start get online and get a, a, a web developer. How do I get a web developer? Well, I went online, started from Naples to Fort Myers, and I went down the line. I just took the name, wrote the number down, and went one by one. After that, I stopped off one day. I gave myself an hour. I said, let me sit down and start one. I called up one place in Naples. And being a very, uh, how can I say, I'm very particular, uh, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, when I speak to someone, I want to feel 
comfort with that person. And if I don't feel that comfort, it's just not there. I can't work with this person because my website has to reflect me and who I am. So I called up this person and I spoke to them for a while and I just didn't feel the connection. I really didn't. And I made him talk and he spoke and I'm listening. And it was a lot about the money. It was the money, money, money. It'll cost you more for this, more for that, how many pages. And it was such a turn off, very cold, very, very business-like, and I just wasn't comfortable. And I said, thank you, I'll get back to you, hung up. Long story short, there were five other people from them until I got to the last number. This is honestly, I have to tell you, honestly, I got to the last number and I was giving up at that point. I said, I am not going to find a web developer where I'm comfortable with, who has to reflect who I am. I call up Four Corners Creative Solutions, I pick up the phone, the man picks up the phone and he tells me that this is Four Corners, and I explained to him my whole situation. I want to start an online baking business. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do about a website. You have to help me. Well, to make a long story short, he was so gracious to me. I have to let you know, I the connection was there the first minute I spoke to him. Um, he gave me his time. I believe he was in the car when he answered the phone. And Ty said to me, uh, oh, listen, I'm on my way going to pick up my wife at the airport. I said, oh, fine, go ahead, go, go. And he says, no, 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 I'll speak to you. He answered every question that I asked him, whether it be APIs, which I knew nothing of, uh, just the developments and all the intricate uh, information I needed for a website. And let me tell you, it was such a wonderful experience. I thought, I had to shake myself and I say, is this possible? As he was the sixth caller. And after we hung up the phone, we were talking about two minutes. And I said to him, look, you have to pick up your wife, go. He goes, no, 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 don't worry about it. I said, you go, I will call you tomorrow. So he said, okay, fine. I got off that phone, let me tell you something. I said, I can't believe it. I found my web developer. I was so excited and I couldn't believe it because my dreams were come, well, came back. Uh, after realizing, speaking to the previous people, that I just wanted to give up. So I hung up, went to my husband, said, Hun, I found my web developer. He goes, how do you know who he is? I said, no, I have great judgment of character. I know this man is going to work for me. So I spoke to him the next day, made an appointment with him. And from that day on, it's been nothing but a pleasure working with Ty. I have to tell you. I have been so happy working with him. He has, I have been a pest. I'm a perfectionist. I want things a certain way. Like I said before, my, my website has to reflect me and who I am. So I would call him and he would say, I I need this color theme. I need this font. I need this. I need this added, this taken away. And believe me, everything I asked him, he did it so graciously and so beautifully that made me feel so comfortable because this venture is a new venture for me yeah i'm a little scary it's a little but he made it so gorgeous till today it was just online i was online i have feedback from friends and family that just cannot believe how beautiful what a beautiful job he did um there were times i wanted to come here and i said ty to his office and said ty i have to see you for a half hour well that half hour turned into two hours and we would just go on and on. And he, I left with a smile with him. He was so outgoing and so willing. Believe me, I can't say enough about him. If I had to give him a report card, being a teacher, it's straight A pluses down, down the line. I mean, after speaking with him on the phone, I picked up a few tidbits. I knew he was a family man. He has a beautiful daughter, beautiful wife. I knew he was a Marine. He mentioned he was a Marine. And believe me, I have high respect for our military. So that put the cherry on the cake, and you have to be have a certain character to be a Marine. You have to have a certain stamina to be a Marine, and that all added to me hiring him. Believe me, and I made the right decision. I cannot ask for a more wonderful person, outgoing, pleasant. Believe me, he's making who I am, and, and I feel I'm going to be successful, and it's going to be because of him also. He's part
part of my business and I will never ever stop thanking him. Um, like I said, if I had a report card, he's straight A pluses down the line. The only problem is I would have to have another page for a comment because his com my comments on him would be uh, two pages. That's how wonderful and happy uh, he has made me uh, in working with him. Um, I have to tell you, and I have to tell Ty, Ty, uh, congratulations. At this point, you are finalists, and in my books, you are a winner. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. You deserve it. Uh, believe me, I have worked in public relations, like I said before, with many, many people. You are special. You deserve this. Uh, and you are, to me, on my A-list, and uh, the best of luck to you. Thank you, and thank you for listening to my testimony.